Hey guys, today I'm at Harvard University, the wealthiest academic institution in the world. They manage a fortune of over $50 billion and where it's invested will blow you away. There is a massive financial engine at work behind these walls. So you might be wondering, how does Harvard invest such a massive endowment? And more importantly, what do they do with all of that money? Well, it's far more sophisticated than simply keeping the money in the bank. Before we dive into how Harvard and other universities manage these massive endowments, let's break down what an endowment actually is. At its core, an endowment is a huge pool of money that's been donated to the university over time. These funds are meant to be invested with the goal of generating returns year after year. But here is the catch. Universities don't usually spend the principal, instead they only spend the investment returns. They use this for research grants, scholarships, salaries, and maintaining the historical buildings, like this one behind me. Harvard's endowment was founded in 1974, and it's the largest anywhere on Earth with over $50 billion. That's twice the size of New Zealand's sovereign wealth fund, and half the size of the total stock market. This enormous financial resource allows Harvard to fund not only its current programs, but also its future initiatives ensuring the university's mission continues for generations. You might ask, why does a university need so much money? Well, endowments are critical for a university's long-term sustainability. They help universities weather economic downturns, maintain financial aid programs, and continue groundbreaking research, regardless of what's happening in the market. Over half of Harvard's undergraduates receive financial aid. Much of this is thanks to these investments. In essence, an endowment is like a university's financial backbone. It's very similar to why many countries have sovereign wealth funds, and even cities like Auckland have started their own called the Future Fund. Managing an endowment isn't just about putting money in stocks or bonds. Harvard, like other top universities, takes a sophisticated approach to investing. They take one that rivals some of the biggest hedge funds and private equity firms. At Harvard, the endowment is managed by the Harvard Management Company. This organization is essentially a multi-billion dollar investment firm dedicated to managing Harvard's funds. It's staffed with some of the brightest minds in finance, many of which came from a hedge fund or asset management background. Their job is to balance risk and reward, ensuring the endowment grows over time while maintaining enough liquidity to meet the university's needs. Just like individual investors, Harvard's endowment is spread across different asset classes to balance growth and risk. In 2023, Harvard had a whopping 70% of its funds invested in private equity and hedge fund assets. This was followed by just 11% being invested in regular stocks. You can pick up on the stock exchange. There is a further 5% invested in real estate. Even down in New Zealand, Harvard is the second largest owner of forests. They've also ventured into farming, owning over 5,000 cows and 8,500 acres of farmland. So Harvard is definitely investing at another level to regular investors. Another key part of their strategy is diversification. Harvard's investments span multiple sectors, including technology, healthcare, real estate, among many others, and these are spread all across the globe. This reduces the risk of relying too heavily on any one sector or region. While Harvard has a talented in-house team, they also partner with external fund managers who specialize in areas like private equity or emerging markets. These partnerships allow the endowment to tap into expertise and opportunities that might be beyond the reach of their internal team. But with large investments comes large risk. Endowment managers have to be prepared for economic downturns like the 2008 financial crisis, which hit Harvard hard. After after losing billions in the crash, Harvard had to reassess its risk management strategy, leading to more conservative cash reserves and a greater emphasis on liquidity. Despite market challenges, Harvard's endowment has consistently delivered strong returns, averaging around 10% annually in recent years. So as you can see, managing a multi-billion dollar endowment like Harvard's is a complex operation. While Harvard's endowment is often in the spotlight, it's not the only university with a massive fund to manage. Across the United States, many universities have developed innovative strategies for managing their endowments. Let's take a look at how some other top institutions manage their investments. One of the most famous models of endowment management comes from Yale University. Under the leadership of David Swenson, who ran Yale's investments from 1985 until his passing in 2021, Yale pioneered what is now known as the Yale model. Swenson's strategy focused heavily on alternative investments. Yale reduced its exposure to traditional stocks and bonds, instead channeling funds into private equity, hedge funds, venture capital, and real estate assets like natural resources, and real estate. This shift led to higher returns and less reliance on market fluctuations. Yale's endowment has grown significantly under this model. 
often outperforming many of its peers and has become a template for other institutions looking to diversify beyond traditional assets. Stanford University, located in the heart of Silicon Valley, has leveraged its proximity to one of the world's most innovative regions to its advantage. Stanford's endowment has significant exposure to venture capital and startup investments, giving it a direct line to early stage, high growth technology companies. Stanford has been an early investor in companies like Google and Hewlett Packard, reaping enormous rewards as these companies grew into global giants. This strategy has allowed Stanford to deliver impressive long-term returns while fostering innovation that aligns with its educational mission. Now I've just made my way down to Massachusetts Institute of Technology or MIT as it's just a mile down the road from Harvard. MIT takes a strategic approach to align its endowment with its mission of driving innovation. MIT invests heavily in sectors tied to scientific research, technology, and healthcare. These are areas where the university itself is a global leader. What sets MIT apart is its focus on intellectual property and startups. The endowment supports companies and research born out of MIT's labs, giving it a unique edge in commercializing groundbreaking discoveries. These investments can often result in spin-offs that can yield significant financial returns while pushing the boundaries of innovation. While university endowments like Harvard's are impressive financial engines, they aren't without their share of challenges and criticisms. Let's take a closer look at some of the key concerns surrounding the management of these vast funds. One of the most significant criticisms levied against large university endowments is the fact that they are tax exempt. Despite managing billions of dollars in assets and generating millions of returns every single year, these endowments are largely shielded from paying federal taxes. Critics argue that institutions with such vast wealth should contribute more in public coffers. This has led to discussions about introducing a wealth tax on large university endowments. Harvard, with its $50 billion plus endowment, is often at the center of this debate. In response, universities argue that their endowments are critical for supporting their educational missions. They point out that endowment funds are often restricted, with donors specifying how the money must be used, such as for scholarships, research, or specific programs. Taxing these funds, they argue, could limit their ability to provide financial aid and conduct research. Another criticism is that even as endowments grow, tuition costs continue to rise at many universities. This raises concern about access and affordability. Although Harvard and other top schools provide generous financial aid, many students and families still struggle with the high cost of higher education. The growing gap between well-endowed private institutions and public universities with smaller or no endowments exacerbates financial inequality. While Harvard and Yale can offer extensive financial aid and state-of-the-art facilities, many public institutions face budget cuts and increasing tuition fees. Critics argue that elite universities could do more to share their wealth or partner with public institutions to improve access to education across the board. A major ethical issue many universities face is how their endowment funds are invested. Divestment movements, particularly around oil and gas investments, or even Ukraine and Russia these days, have gained momentum across many campuses, including Harvard. In 2021, after years of pressure, Harvard announced that it would divest from fossil fuels, committing to transition its portfolio away from oil and gas companies. While this was a victory for environmental activists, some argued that it took too long for such an influential institution to make this move. Beyond fossil fuels, universities also face pressure to consider the social and ethical implications of their other investments. This includes private prisons, arms manufacturing, or companies with poor labor practices. Balancing the need for high returns with ethical considerations remains a contentious issue. Endowment funds also have an issue of managing liquidity. While they are investing for the long term, they also need to ensure they have enough liquid assets to fund their scholarships, research, and operations. Beyond the direct benefits to students, the scale of university endowments also has a broader economic impact. With billions of dollars under management, these funds are significant players in the global financial markets. Their investments span a wide range of asset classes, including public equities, real estate, venture capital, and private equity. The sheer size of their portfolios means that decisions made by the university endowment managers can influence markets and contribute to the growth of industries. For individual investors, there are valuable lessons to be learned from how university endowments are managed. One key takeaway is the importance of diversification. By spreading investments across multiple asset classes, Universities reduce risk and enhance returns over the long term. Additionally, endowments often invest in alternative assets such as private equity and hedge funds, which can provide uncorrelated returns and enhance portfolio resilience. Individual investors can adopt these strategies to strengthen their own portfolios and achieve more sustainable growth. That's all I have for you today. I look forward to catching you back in New Zealand for the next one. Cheers.